Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a de-kitting or kitting down video of this diamond painting that I just completed of Stitch. I've done a kitting up video for it and I did a start to finish video. You can find those on my channel. I did give my poster view of Stitch in the start to finish and there was one thing that I left off that I really wanted to mention. On the key, which I, I sort of mentioned it when I was kitting it up, but on the key, the schematic sheet, number 11 here and kind of number 12 too. I'll bring it up to you so that you can see. Um, so number 12 is a little difficult to see. It's X. Number 11, you can see it right here, it's P. But how I was looking at it on the canvas, you can't really see what that is. Especially when I was sitting over it, diamond painting. That was really difficult to see and it was a bit of a nuisance. And um, it even blended in so well that when I finally finished it and after I did my post view and everything I held it up to the window to see if I could see any spots that I'd missed and I did. I had missed one so I went back and filled it but I'm not missing any now. Everything is all filled in and Stitch is done. I think he turned out cute. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with him yet. Um, but I do know that I want to frame him or hang him up and do something with him so that I can put him in my son's bedroom with the other um, diamond paintings in this kit. So the reason I have Stitch here is because I didn't get a sheet of paper with Stitch that told me what the DMC numbers were for each of these colors. So I'm going to use the schematic as my guide and I have all the colors here that I used in the kit. And then this is my storage containment system. So I've got these boxes from Harbor Freight. Um, I got the DMC labels from Amazon and these are just a pair of the diamond painting tweezers. These are all rounds, They're all rounds. And a lot of them, they already have the, the numbers on them. So what's gonna happen now is I'm going to go through, see what I have, see what I don't have, and I will add and move things around as I go. So we're gonna start in this first box. And I don't really have much to talk about. Um, I do have a lot of um, I do have a lot of diamond paintings that are waiting to be done. I was going to do, I guess, the next one in this kit because now I've done three, so I think I have three left. I'm going to double check real quick to make sure that these are the same color. Yeah, those are pretty good. Um, let me make sure you guys can... See what I'm doing. Let me move the camera just a little bit. Sorry. Adjusting, making adjustments, and I can bring you down too. I think. Just so you guys can see what I'm working on here. these colors um, maybe at the end of this kidding down video I will pull those out and um, and get you guys to like choose what my next one's going to be um, my husband just bought me my first ever kit from Diamond Art Club 
So that is coming in soon. I'm um, expecting it to be here next week. 310, can't go wrong with 310. There's some of these get mixed up. Like I'm pretty sure this is the color that I just did. But I don't think I'm gonna do the diamond art. I know I'm not gonna do the diamond art club piece until I finish the large canvas that I'm working on, which is the Lotus Buddha, whose author or artist I still need to figure out. Um, I store all of my drills. Um, I don't throw them away because microplastics and whatnot. Also, I'm not entirely sure I'm aware of um, what kind of drill these are. Um, I've heard that if they have like pocking on the bottom that they're acrylic and if they don't then they're resin. So I think these are resin because they're, well, let me see. Yeah, I think these are resin then because there's no pocking on the bottom of these. Like there are no indents on the bottom side. I saw a black one in here, 310, there we go. It's a lot faster to kit down than to kit up. Um, obviously, I mean, you're just dumping things out and then having to worry about whether or not your stuff's gonna fit. So on this first one, this number one is empty because I don't have a um, case for it yet, but I'm going to go ahead and take one out and then move these over so that I can make space because it's 154 and I start at 155 here. So I'm going to move all these down, make room. Or when I get to the end, um, the fourth case you'll see is mostly empty. I only have two colors in there. So um, I'll take one of those and put it in here. So that was four one to five, which is four thirty-six. I've got that one. I have most of these already. A lot of them use the same colors. always find at least one that was the color before and I think that I, I mean obviously I don't exactly know why that happens but I think it has something to do with their um, their system of like distributing the drills so they use the same shoot to uh to drop down okay I think we're going on to no number six five sixty five sixty two yeah I don't I'm gonna need another box for that um if they use the same shoot for the all of the drills then they're bound to get mixed up that it's just it's gonna happen that's a lighter purple color. I don't know if I have that one there. We'll see. Maybe. Okay, so I don't have six yet. And then 648. So we're moving on to the next box. So there's those. They're going to come in here. Go ahead and grab. box a little bit. Did I say that I got these from Harbor Freight? I got them from Harbor Freight and I have more. I When I when I bought these boxes originally, I bought them out of all that they had because I was like, I have a lot of diamond paintings and I need the best storage options available to me. And I, um, 
a lot of people use the Harbor Freight containers as like their kitting up method. I don't think I'd be able to use these to kit up. I, I don't think I'd be able to do that. Um, but for storing, they're fantastic. I'm going to start throwing these all over the place. No escapees in there. Most of them don't have the little escapee color, but some of them do. So that was number seven, um, DMC 648. Now DMC 739. Don't have that one. So there goes another color. Would it be easier to just go ahead and put the empty box in as I go? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it would be. Um, do I wish that I did it that way now? Maybe. Maybe. Um, but this is the way we're doing, so we're just going to roll with it. Alright, so I don't have that yet. One, nine, seven, seven, five. Now, um, seven, seven, five, I do have... The, I did want to mention the other box, I have another box of this, these kinds of containers of drills. Um, these are all the same color, that's fantastic. And, okay, now I have to be careful because I've got the, num the how I store them is out of DMC order. Um, let me get through with my thought first. I don't have the schematic sheet for the other box of these. I don't. Uh, so as I'm doing this, I have a book. I'll get it in a second. 796. Um, why? I have a book booklet where I can put the drills in to like compare them to see if I have the same the same color but I don't have all the drills yet so it's kind of a challenge um These colors were all really similar. We got 796, 797, and 798. And as I'm pouring them in, I'm just looking for any trash or stowaways. None yet, really. This also kind of similar. I don't have that color, so we'll pull out another one there. 800, don't have, cheese. 809, there we go. 809 is B. And we've got an 816 in here, which I don't have again. I think, well, I actually don't know if that is 816. It's very... on you guys. I'm sorry. I have ADHD, so things come and go in waves. <laughs> um, 819. I do have 819. It's him. So if I lose, if I started saying something and I don't remember what it was, or if I don't catch it in editing or something, just you can comment and let me know and I'll bring it bring back that information in like another video. The next video. And I'll, I'll mention it. 
Oh gosh, where did that look? There it is. Someone beats around. Okay, I think that was all the stowaways in town. Okay, on to the next one. But I do remember that I was saying earlier that I might have you guys pick out my next time thing. So when I get to the end of this, I think I've decided that I'm going to bring out some for you guys to see. pick from. These are too dark. And these are too light. Alright, what's next? And if you guys, if, if I get like zero comments <laughs> regarding which style of painting I should do next, then uh, like within a week, I'll just pick a, the next one that I, I guess we want to do. Taking my time to make sure that my stash is correct. The stowaway. That one's really, it's like a really dark purple. I don't, some of these colors are not in this kit. <laughs> I know that they're not. Does anybody else have that issue? I think you get colors that you know do not belong to your kit and they're just stowaways. <laughs> and you're like, what am I supposed to do with you? Where am I supposed to put you? I don't know what color you are, unless you've been doing this for like ever. I've only completed what, five diamond paintings so far, so I don't know the colors by heart. There are some diamond painters out there on YouTube who do know the colors by heart. And every time I see them, they can look at a color on one of their videos and they're like, oh, that's 3743 or oh, that's, you know, 648. I'm like, how do you, <laughs> some of these colors are so similar. How are you doing that? You magician, beautiful, beautiful magician. Um, 963 was the last one before we get into the 3000s. Okay, now that we're into the 3000s, I'm going to go ahead and do some maneuvering here just to kind of even this out a little bit. So there was 739, I'm going to need there, and then I'm going to need, I'm gonna need two there. lost its sticker. I know what that one is though. I know what 5200 is. It's white. Some of these I know by heart. 310, 5200. You know those. 
are black and white. <laughs> so generic. Okay, I need, I think I need three out of here. No, I need five and then like almost an entire row. Some people cannot stand getting up and getting down. They would literally do anything else in the world other than this. They love diamond painting, they love everything that comes with diamond painting, but it but this. Like they refuse to do this. Okay, I think I needed to pull more out because I don't have alright, I'm gonna go back. To the beginning, add these in. Yeah, I definitely should have done this in the first place. My bad. You know, we were in it. We were we were feeling it. Fill in the moment. One five four. I use my tweezers to pick up these little stickers. They're so tiny. They don't really have a great stick. If I could do it again, I probably would have gotten different stickers. Um, 154 was for one. Yeah, I definitely would have. I feel like this one here, maybe. Yeah, she belongs there. Yay, here's one of them. Tray, empty. Woohoo! Okay, number six was 562. Where are you? There you are. Another thing that I don't really enjoy about this particular sticker sheet is that it only comes with one sticker per DMC number, unless it's, um, there, like, there's a lot of, there's quite a few 321, we've got a lot of 310s. A lot of pickers that just say, pick, did I say pickers? A lot of stickers <laughs> just say white. Just white. Magnifique. Okay, that box is done. I don't have to do anything else with you. Oh. There we go. That box is done. Now, for this box over here, we. Next head number eight was 739, so it's gonna be, oh, there's my 520 sticker. 5200, not 520, 5200. It says B5200 for some reason. I don't know why there's a B on there, but. I'm not the person that came up with this stuff. I just use it. <laughs> Seven thirty-nine. Yes. Ah, see, they don't stick very well. They're falling apart all over the place. They. I mentioned runaways in the the drill containers themselves. Stowaways. My stickers keep trying to stow away. <laughs> Get me out of here. If I do lose some stickers, though, I probably wind up using like a dry erase marker. Or something so that um, it'll be there. I can wipe it off if I need to to reuse it. There's the second container done, or the second set of containers, I suppose. All right, next was over here, $7.99. Is that one of our attempted escapees? No. $7.99. It's hanging in there. Just like I'm here. Hundred while we're at it, since they're side by side. Yay! 
$7.99 was S. $800 is T. No stowaways. These are all so similar. It does make for a nice cascading effect. My husband told me that I should probably do these kidding up and kidding down videos as like a time loop. Or time lapse, not time loop, time lapse. So that I could have it done faster. Like shorter videos for you guys. But I did some explaining that crafters oftentimes when they're doing painting or cross stitch or whatever the case may be we really like to have some noise going on in the background just just some noise um, whether that be someone else doing ASMR diamond painting or someone talking it's it's like you have someone there with you helping you through the process. It's really nice. Anyway, how was your guys' week? <laughs> like, um, that's something that I probably should have loved the, the video with. How are you? What's new? Have you read any good books lately? That's good. I just finished the book. Bone Weaver, and it comes out, comes out soon, I think, or it's already, I think it comes out soon. It was a NetGalley arc. I, I read a lot of arcs for authors, and, um, that box is done. So I read a lot of arcs for authors, and... This one was called Bone Weaver, and it was really, really cool. It was based on um, like Russian, Ukrainian, and Scandinavian folklore. So it had their version of like mermaids and sirens and vampires and um, demons and river spirits and uh, like zombies. I, it was. So cool, it was so good. If you're a spicy romance reader though, I it's not exactly it wasn't that. So I don't this, that's really all I read is like spicy romance. So when people get a recommendation from me, they're like, oh, so it's spicy? I'm like, So this is odd. I've run into a conundrum here. They don't have this color 820. Oh, yes, I was looking at the wrong color. Okay. What color was I looking at? They do have 823. I apologize for my blindness. Why am I apologizing for my blindness? I already said I ain't gonna apologize in these videos. My life is messy and loud and crude. It tar what it tar. Or, excuse me. It is what it is. I said the first wait to my husband one time. He's like, what the heck are you talking about? It's like, it tar what it tar. It is what it is. You've never heard anybody say it like that. Like a pirate. That's how my dad used to say it. Or I suppose how my dad does still say it, maybe. I don't know. I haven't really seen or spoken to my dad in like six years. So I don't know. He might still say that stuff. Choose some nice relaxing music 
for you guys. <laughs> I, um, I try to. I don't know. I, my my music is very eclectic. I like a little bit of everything and a lot of everything. So um, I got some nice relaxing piano. I got some entertaining upbeat like poppy stuff it's an interesting orange color it's color 900 it's like a it looks really like a true orange but I get all of my music from Pixabay it's a royalty free company because truth be told I um, don't really know where youtubers get their music from I don't w know where youtubers get much of anything or how they do much of anything I don't know how to do the end screens and the title screens and stuff like that so it's going to take me a while to figure that stuff out and for those of you who stick with me during this transition and transformation, thank you. I appreciate it. You are very welcome here anytime. Um, I need to put... Because this, this channel is going to be crazy. This, that's just who I am. I mean, I'm not a wild, crazy person, but I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone more, I suppose, and do things that I normally wouldn't do. So, okay, I think we are back in business here 53 okay so these three I'll take these three out and I'm pretty sure this is a lot more convoluted than I was expecting it to be but that's fine um 3705 there's one that I don't have yet so before I go put stuff back in 3705 is a Another interesting orange-ish color, sheesh, orange-ish, orange-ish color, orange-ish color. The uh, Lotus Buddha that I'm working on is a square drill. It is the only square drill that I've ever done. It has kind of a pink tinge to it, like an orange-ish pink. pink pinkish orange. There are some colors in there that do not belong, but it's very hard to pick them out because they look very similar. It's a good thing I'm not colorblind because I'd be like, yep, yeah, that looks good. And then my diamond paintings would be all over the place. They're, these are more pink. These are, these are more pink than these, but they're still, I guess they're going to go in this 961. Do you belong here? I don't know where you belong. These look pink. I don't know. I'm slightly, slightly colored, but yes, these are where you go. Okay. It's a good thing I was able to see those. They were really close in color. I don't know, it might be more evident on the camera, but most often times it is not evident on the camera at all what the correct color is. Not at all. I got some purples here. No, are you a 3609? Is that what you are? As I found? Nope, that is too purple for these peaks. 
these are purple. Is it too pink for these purples? Let's find out. It is too dark a purple for these purples. Where do you belong? <laughs> Where do you belong? Who is your mother? As I was saying, the square drawers. So, um, the Lotus Buddha is the very first square drill kit I've ever had. 37, 43, right here. And, um, it is 90 by 120 centimeters. It's massive. It is the largest diamond painting that I will have ever done. Um, and probably will always be the largest diamond painting I've ever done. Um, the first, the very first drill that I put on that, I was shaking. Just absolutely shaking. I was terrified <laughs> to place that first drill. I was like, what if I do it wrong? Am I making the right choices by starting on the outside and moving inside? Or should I do something else? But the more I work on it, the more I love working with square, squares. They do take forever though. I mean, to be fair, the diamond painting is, is massive and I've never worked on um, square drills before. So, I'm, so it's taking me a minute, sure. So similar. But, um, it's, it's taking me a minute, but it looks so good. in maybe maybe five hours five or six hours maybe <laughs> it just it went so quickly and I've been working on the 90 by 120 centimeter diamond painting since February really um 3770 I I got it for my birthday in January. It was a birthday gift for my mom. And I didn't want to start working on it right away because I wanted to make sure that I had a game plan to tackle something so large. So I started on it, I think, in February. It might have been the very end of January, but I'm pretty sure it was February before I got started on it. And uh, almost every day, I'm chipping away, little by little, little by little. Just uh, there were a lot of stowaways in this one. Where's the closest purple to this? Far? Oh, it's not the same purple. Good gravy. Drive to Savannah to the hospital, and we got home 
around 10 or something, and by 11.30, I was back in the bed and about to fall asleep, but we had to go get a new key for the car because check this out. So my van, it's a 2010, and um, she, she, she old. She, she needs some help, but um, the key, it was, it's very sensitive, the original key, very sensitive. So anytime I would be in the grocery store, if my toddler were to bump said key, the trunk, the hatchback would open on the van and I would come out of the grocery store an hour later to my van, my vehicle just exposed to the world for, for anyone to take. Luckily no one did. I think that if I lived anywhere other than the South, someone definitely would have. Um, or if I lived closer to Savannah than I actually do, someone most definitely would have taken my vehicle. So I've been lucky. We had to get a new, we had to get a new key. 38, 35. Because that's not safe and I couldn't, I couldn't be having that happen, so. And then we came home and I was like, okay, I'm going to bed now. My husband was really tired too, so he laid down for a nap. I laid down for a nap. My toddler was in our bed watching um, his little shows on his tablet. And he did not go to sleep. But we did. Went to sleep. He was fine. He was in our bed. There's nothing in our room that he can hurt himself on or anything like that. He, Like, I would wake up every few minutes to him smacking me with his tablet saying I want to watch something else even though he knows very well how to work the thing he knows how to work it I know he does um because he does it every day but for some reason when I'm sleeping he loves to wake me up to either um a tablet to the face my phone to the face or the TV remote to my face. He'll ask me, I wanna watch something. I wanna watch something. Like, he didn't have to wake me up like that though. That was rude. Anyway, um, okay. So I have these here. I don't know where these go. So what I'm gonna do is take the other container. that I do not have a home for. I'm going to open one of these random compartments and I'm going to put all of these drills into so I don't want these place. I'm going to put all these drills right in here. little compartment and then I'll find a home for them later. And I grabbed, while I was at it, I grabbed the, the book that I was talking about earlier. Um, so this is my little DMC color chart. It has a bunch of different tables, but they're all the same color. They just, they have different names. So it has Da Vinci, Warhol, Van Gogh, and Picasso charts. And um, they're all the same colors. But as you can see, I've kind of already placed some on the Da Vinci chart because they're, these are bigger spaces. Like if I go back here to the Warhol chart, those are teeny tiny spaces. And um, the Van Gogh chart, it's color coded, kind of, but that's, that's a lot. 
And then the Picasso chart is just one sheet. It's just all these teeny tiny little also color coded. So I decided to use the Da Vinci because the bigger I can see it better. The only thing is the colors here are not, they don't match up well to the color percent. Some of them do. But like as we saw with 154, um, this 154 looks, it says red, very dark. This is not the color of the drill that I put in my storage system. Let me go over here to Van Gogh. See, these aren't these aren't labeled numerically. But here we go again, 154, red, very dark. It looks a little, mm, I don't know. What about Warhol? Let's see, I think Warhol is between, yeah, Warhol. 154 again very dark and then picasso 154 all the way down here very dark so i don't the colors don't really match all that well to me like here's 154 um, and this looks more purple than red to me. Let me open that up so you can see without the glare. That looks, does that look purple? Or does that look red? It looks purple to me. I don't see how this and this are the same color. I, I don't think. It doesn't fit for me. So that's the issue that I'm having is maybe it's because they're Amazon drills, but these colors, they match nothing that I can find yet. So I don't know, but that's the drill that I have. So I'm going to put in that book, not today, at some point, but not today. Um, the only, okay, so the decaying is essentially done. The only thing left is to um, wipe off, I've got to go get some alcohol, wipe off all of the letters, numbers, symbols, all that stuff here. I'll probably throw these away unless I can reuse those symbols. Um, but I'm going to wipe all that off and then it'll be done and ready for the next kitty up. So, there again, that's stitch all right um let me go let me know what you thought in the comments and if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it you can give it a thumbs down it doesn't really matter um either way it will work for me i guess anyway um you know what to do do all the things if you don't mind or if you like this kind of content you want to see more from me hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified whenever i upload because things are kind of sporadic with my uploading um but anyway thanks for watching bye i almost forgot to add this um at the end of my video so this is kind of like a uh, Yes, or uh, whoopsie daisy. Um, so these are the four canvases that I was thinking about doing next. These two are the last two that were part of the stitch pack, and then these two are part of a different pack that it was a six pack as well. Um, and these are the first two that I considered bringing up. So you guys have a choice between, um, I'm, they're still in their plastic wrap. So we have Eeyore with balloons. Simba and Mufasa. This one is like a skeleton with the woman wrapped around it. It's kind of hard to see, but we have a skeleton here, and then this is the woman, and they're kind of combined. And then this one here is Jack's skeleton with Sally and Zero. 
so if you guys want to comment which one you'd like to see me do next um i will take that into consideration even if i get just one comment i will do that one and that will be my next video all right bye guys